Welcome back, lovelies. I am, I, this is going to be a short intro because I want to get into this. I had already opened the package, you guys. If you, oh, this hair. If you didn't see my TikTok and my Instagram reels, I got my Bling Brushes X Alley Dawson Collection brush set. And I had to look at it, but it is so stunning that I wanted to come on here and show each brush individually to you guys. So if you'd like to see that, then please keep watching. Really quick, guys, please don't mind the hair. I'm trying to let it grow back out. There isn't much I can do with it, so it's going to look crazy. But let's get into this. Without, okay, my address is gone. This is how it arrives in this beautiful sparkly pink packaging. Then when you pull it out, it looks like this. On the back, it tells you what each brush is that is included. I did get the full set. So really quick, let's go over the prices. You can get the PR box, which comes with this, the bag, the entire box, some peppermint candies and things like that you get with the um, influencers get when they get the PR for 200. But remember, every price I tell you, you can use code Allie and get money off so you don't pay that. You can get the full set, which is what I got, plus the makeup bag for 160. Remember, keep in mind, this is without code Allie. You can get what I got, which is just the brushes, the face, and the eye for $144. Or you could get just the face set for $72, just the eye set for $78, just the bag is $20. But let me point something out. It would not be worth it, in my opinion, to not either get the full face or the full eye set because I looked and the eye brush, or I'm sorry, the face brushes alone range from $32 around that area. Maybe a little less depending on the one you get, but not much less. And the eye brushes are 18 and around that area. So think 32 for one brush, or you can get the entire eye set for 78. Like two brushes would be about what the whole eye set or the whole face set costs. Just saying. Now let's get into these. It looks like this, like you can already see. Oh my God, they're stunning. But let me take them out. Really quick, you get this card, BBXAB, or I'm sorry, BBXAD. And then on the back, here's what it looks like. It says, blinged brushes. Ah, it's here. Thank you so much for supporting my collab. I can't believe that I have my very own brush set with bling brushes. Congrats, Allie. I'm so happy for you. It just proves that dreams do come true. Your support means everything to me. I can't wait to see what beautiful, iconic, fierce looks you create. Stay beautiful, Allie Dawson. Let me tell you guys, if you see lipstick on my teeth, it's because I have damn Jeffree Star Red Affair lip balm and it keeps getting on my teeth. But anyways, also, when I found out she was doing this, like the day she announced it, just the, re the video, not the reveal video, the little sneak peek video, I bawled my eyes out. I was so happy for her, I bawled my damn eyes out. And it isn't even my collab, but I just love seeing people happy and accomplishing things that makes them happy. It makes me happy. I'm one of those kind of people. But now let's look at the brushes. Okay, so I have the list here. I'm going to show you the brush, and then I'm going to tell you what it says it is. Here is our first stunning brush. But can we take a moment, look at that crystallized handle. There is not a space anywhere on the handle that is not covered in some kind of gem. And then here it will tell you the number. This is F31. And then here it says BB. AD and these bristles they are synthetic but they are so soft and look at this they are packed so many bristles and they go from the stunning red into white you have silver hardware which I'm so happy about I am a silver girl let me know what you are down below silver or gold and then you have the red gems perfect for the holiday but she did pick red because of Lunar Beauty, her favorite lipstick with them, Aphrodite. She said that. But either way, like, one more time. These are stunning. All the way down. Like, it isn't even no crystals on the bottom. It is all the way. So this is our first brush, the F31. 
It says, this is a large powder brush. It would be, oh my God, it's so soft. It would be perfect for powder. It's nice and fluffy, but it's still got a little bit of denseness to us, to us, to it, and it is rounded on the top. It is domed. So that is our first brush. Our second brush, the F32. They look dirty, but I didn't even use them. This one is more of a, it's domed, but it's got a little bit of a flat top to it. As you see, it is wide and then it is kind of skinny and it is a more dense brush. I could definitely use this for foundation, but I bet that's probably not what it's for. It says that this is a contour brush. It would fit perfectly. Yeah, but I would use this for foundation because it is dense enough for foundation, but it's not super dense. Very gorgeous. Again, packed with brushes. Like they, I would say that blinged brushes, they have very soft brushes. They do not shy with how much they pack bristle-wise into each one. They have gorgeous quality on their handles because I have the rose gold set. And you could see the difference in the gems. Like these are just a flat red. These are, I think it's A, B, don't quote me. The ones that show all the color. But that is the F32. This will be a shorter video, but I just want to show you each one of them in their own glory because they deserve it. Next, we have the F33. It is more of an angled brush. I would use this for blush. I could even use it for highlighter because I do like a smaller brush, but sometimes a bigger one is nice. Or contour, but I would use it for blush. Let's see what they say it's for. Angled blush brush. Look at me. So there it is. It is not dense. It is more of a fluffier brush. Very beautiful. The handle again. Now we have the F34. This would be a good highlight brush for me. It is more wispy. It is not dense. It does come up domed. It's a gorgeous brush. The handle. The difference in the handles. Look how big and look how little. Just wanted to give you a little look. They say this is an under eye setting brush. Let me see about that. Oh yeah, that would work nice. And to sweep away any fallout from eyeshadow. Oh, this would be perfect. And to set your eyelid. Oh yes. So that is the F34. The last one in the face brush. So you would get all four of those plus this one for, what did I say? $72. This is the F35. It is a very small fan brush. Let me see. Here's a fan brush from Juno & Co. Here's the one from Alley & Bling Brushes. Big difference. And this is what this one looks like on my face, just to give you a reference of how big it is. It's not like gigantic is what I mean. So here's the F35. As you can see, it's very thin. Very thin, not a thicker brush. But this would be, oh, this would be so precise with highlight. Perfect for the nose, chin, and oh yeah. Oh yeah, this would be a great highlight brush. And the handle. Here's my pinky, so you can see how thin it is. Let's see what they say it's for. Fan highlight brush. Love that. But it's still being very thin, has a good amount of brushes. You can see there's how many layers there is. So it's thin, but it still has a lot. So it's the F35. So this is the five brushes that you would get if you bought just the face set for 72. But I'm I know with Allie's code, I think it's 60 something. Now we're moving on to the eye brushes. First, we have the E31. It is a little bit domed, but still a little bit flat. Handle is always gorgeous. And like, these don't have much weight to them, but they have enough that you know you have a brush in your hand, if that makes sense. But they're not super heavy because of all the crystals. Very nice. More on the dense side. 
So I would use this probably to, I don't know, maybe pack on eyeshadow. But they say that this is a blending brush. It would work good for blending and it would be very precise. Yes, it would be very precise. This would be nice for precision. But that was the E31. There are eight brushes in the eye set and you get it for 78. So not bad for eight brushes, $78. I mean, come on, not even $10 a brush. Here's the E32. I would use this to cut my crease because it's smaller, but very precise. It has that nice domed tip that almost comes to a point, but not exactly. Here's one from Laura Lee, and look at the difference. This one comes up to almost a point to give you really good precision. And this one's flat, but you can see they're almost the same brush. If this one would have cut off here, they would have been the same. But I just wanted to give you another brush to look at in perspective. But like, look how nice and precise it would be at cutting a crease. Or even putting on concealer under the eye. I would love that for both of those jobs. But let's see what they say. A concealer brush, look at me gorgeous like i said yes i did take these out like i made a tiktok and i showed them to you guys but like i didn't read and i mean i read the note but i didn't read the brushes on the back of the pamper thing now we have the e33 this is also somewhat domed very tiny brush very tiny like look at my pinky now it's tiny here's one from laura lee Almost the same size, but not exactly. Let me put the barrels, same height. Now you see how long Laura's is compared to Allie's? Because this one's more fluffy and this one's still fluffy, but more dense. So because it's shorter, I think it would be better for precision. It would just be a good blending brush in my opinion. But let's see what they say. Precise blending brush. So that is the E33. Here is the E34. It is just an angled brush for eyeliner. It is nice and dense and very well compacted. You can either use it for brows, which I would, or for eyeliner or anything else you'd like, but that's what is suggested of it. So let's see what they say. Probably just call it an angle. Angled liner and brow brush. I swear I didn't read this ahead of time, but it's very short, which I like. Here's one from Laura Lee. Hers is not as wide and also it's just as long but you see Allie's is wider which makes it skinnier do you see the difference well I mean I guess wider doesn't make it skinnier but it, I feel like it does because look at that it is a very skinny brush Laura Lee's is also skinny, which I've used it, so it's going to make it look a little flared out. But this is very nice because it's so skinny, you can get a very fine line. So that's the E34. Here's the E35. Kind of like this one, but way thicker and doesn't have that point. So you can see it is a thicker amount of uh, bristles, if I can think. All of these have almost the same size handle, minus this one's a little bit thinner. The rest of them, for the most part, are about the same size. But let me find a brush like this one. Okay, well, this is about the closest, <laughs> this is about the closest I could get. This is a Jeffree Star X Morphe brush, but is still not as nice and thick as this one. It's a lot thinner. Oh, we got a straight hair. It happens. So, but this is really nice. This would be great for blending as well, but over a bigger area and not as precise. So let's see what they say. They call this a packer brush. Yes, it would be great for packing on eyeshadow as well, but as with makeup, you can use them for whatever you would like. 
Now we have the E36, which is a thicker pencil brush. Here's one from BH Cosmetics, which is longer and seems to be a little bit thinner. So it's kind of got its own degree of thickness and thinness compared to all the ones I've pulled up to it. But it's very nice. It's on the dense side. It has kind of a point to it, if you guys can see. So this would also be great for precision. Inner corner, or if you cut a crease, lining it. Anything you would like, but it would be very good for precision. But let's see what they say. A smudger brush. Yeah, it would be good for the under eye if you don't want a super blown out look. Okay, we have two left. We have the E37, which this is a... Here's one from Crown Brushes. The reason I just quit talking mid-sentence is because, like, look, if I can show you. Look how thin this one is, and this one's on the thicker side. Most of the ones I have are on the thinner side, so I am so happy to have one on the thicker side. And it's very short, but the difference, I didn't show you. Look at the difference, if you could tell. This one's flat straight across. Allie's is domed. And it almost comes to a point again. And I don't have a brush like this. Would be good for smudging or patting on. But I don't know. I I don't have a brush that's domed like that. So let's see what they say. It is a smudger brush. Yes. And our last brush, last brush, the E38, very thin. It is just a very flat, dense brush. I want to see what they would say. A flat liner definer brush. Yes, it would be great for liner. You could definitely make a wing with it. Or you could just pat on glitter with it. Here's one from BH Cosmetics. Not as wide. Definitely not as soft. But about the same thickness. So this is the E38. These are the eight brushes that you would get if you just ordered the eye set for $78. $78 for all eight of these stunning brushes. That's under $10 a brush. And they go for about $18 a brush. Yes, it ranges. It can go a little under, but I don't think it goes above $18. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. But if that was $18, so we would say $20, this would be $160. So $78, and it would be $60 something with, cow, cow, <laughs> with code Alley. So that is amazing. So this is all of our brushes. Here's the difference in the size of the handle between the face and the eye. Look how stunning they are though. One more time before we get out of here. Like look at this. All the way to the tip. Very, very soft like you guys. I don't know what else to tell you. If you've never tried blinged brushes for yourself, yes, they are pricey, but it's an investment because they're going to last you if you take care of them and wash them right. They will last you. I just, I can't believe I got the entire set of the bling brushes Ally Dawson collection. Ah, I'm so happy. But you guys, I'm going to end it there. I will say they are completely sold out. But they are taking orders now for pre-order, which will go out sometime next year. You order them now, pay for them, and they will ship them out as soon as they're ready. So with that, lovelies, I hope you did enjoy. I know this was a little bit different video, kind of weird just showing you brushes. But they were so gorgeous, I did not have a choice. And if you haven't already and you enjoyed this, consider subscribing and leave me a like to let me know you enjoyed the video. Also, comment down below, did you pick anything up from this collection? I did not get the PR box because I would throw the box away. And I figured that would help with clutter on the earth. I know someone else bought it, but at least it wasn't coming from me. So, with that, lovelies, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.